Just a short journey northwest of Anchorage lies the 27-mile-long Matanuska Glacier, which marks the headwaters of the churning Matanuska River. Rafting down the rapids of this glacier gray river can be the soggiest trip of a lifetime. Fred DeRay has faced Matanuska's wild whitewater time after time and is always ready to step once more onto the battleground. About 90 years ago, a, a friend of mine, Chuck Spaulding, and I formed uh, our company Nova River Runners. Our uh, objective was just to turn people onto rafting. We're one of the first companies here in Alaska to do it commercially. Most of our trips are suitable for all ages. When facing the river's heavy offense, the best defense is good flotation equipment. Looks like we got a pretty good level on the river here today. Check the gauge down at the park bridge and it's running about 4.8. And we got a little seat of the pants level here that we go by these bushes over here. If we got a three bush day, we got a good high water float. As you can see there, it's well above the third bush, so we're gonna have a real nice ride. There's no two ways about it. Lion's Head's a real challenging stretch of river. Um, you get so many different kinds of water levels down this section of river over so many different obstacles that each time you go down it, it, just, it can really change dramatically on you. If you happen to fall in the water, get thrown from the raft, rule number one is don't panic. Your life jacket's gonna keep you afloat real well. You want to keep your feet downstream ahead of you to fend off any rocks. It's quite interesting when the guide starts talking to you about being on the river and if you flip, you have to be aware of and very cautious of the downstream current and of the way the, the boat is near you. So um, you have your doubts whether or not you should be on this river or not all of a sudden. But you don't want to get on the downstream side of the raft where it might sandwich you between a rock In and this a Super itself. Bowl of a sport, experience gives the river the upper hand, so you've got to come prepared. A little pep talk from the coach and some last-minute strategy are a must before entering the wide-open stadium of the river. It's just a pretty demanding river. you, you got to know what you're doing on it. It doesn't give you a lot of time to mess around. So uh, sometimes you you have those doubts that you shouldn't be here, but, <laughs> but you are, so you go down the river and uh, you're off. <laughs> There's the kickoff, but remember it's only the first quarter and there will be plenty of bruising plays before the final gun sounds. When we're in the water, we come to just a calm, peaceful feeling and beautiful scenery. We we're able to just sit there and just relax and enjoy everything around us. And then all of a sudden you hear this roaring thunder of all this white water. And you just never know what to expect. And your guide says, hold on, because here we go. And then, oh, my heart starts pumping. <laughs> you, you, you just, um, you get ready. Looks like a major set of rapids coming up here on the right hand. Everybody button up, make sure you're hanging on real well. Get the bailing buckets all set. Might be shipping quite a bit of water on this one. The Matanuska is a formidable opponent, and your team is overshadowed by the river's linebacker-sized boulders. As the current rushes the raft towards the mammoth rocks at 27 miles an hour, you begin to wonder, just what in the heck am I doing here? But this is the challenge you've waited for, the big game, man against thundering whitewater. Okay, get the bailing buckets going. Just a little bit of water now. I don't want too heavy of a boat. These rollicking rapids take a team effort to tackle.
of different obstacles up here on this river lion's head that we've been running recently. We've got a lot of rocks that we have to keep our eye out on, rocks that you wouldn't want to roll over and you wouldn't want to hit for fear of damaging your boat. There's a lot of situations where we have big hydraulics where the river is just pouring over an obstacle and it's got such a tremendous backwash to it that if you get caught in there, it could just dump you in a second flat. Even in the Super Bowl, the players take time out to regroup and review the first half. I'll tell you, I'll be the first one to admit I was a little bit too close to that big rock. We shipped a whole boat full of water. You guys were bailing, and I missed it by about that much. All right. Not a bad job. Here on the mighty Matanuska during halftime, the coach doesn't take you to the locker room. He has a better idea. We've got a dandy little swimming pool up here on top of the moraine. Got some beautiful clear water for swimming and real pretty section here. It's great. All, everybody jumps in and the water is like 30 degrees and it's just fantastic. <laughs> Not for the faint-hearted, but this chilling lake is little league compared to the even colder waters of the Matanuska. It looks like Coach may have had other motives for this stop. This is worth swimming just to see old Dennis clean. Yep, there's one on every team. What do you think the temperature is here? Any ideas? 30 below. <laughs> Alaska's wild waters aren't known for their tropical warmth, but nerves soon numb. It's great. <laughs> the security and solitude of a secluded lake can't last forever. The heart-stopping task of tackling liquid glacier calls the team back from halftime to the churning and twisted battleground. and shoved down 15 miles of a glacier-fed big bully can leave your bones bruised and your teeth rattling. I probably run Lion's Head well over a hundred times, and each time is just a totally different trip. And probably one of the most gratifying things is the fact that you always have different sorts of people on board, and seeing their reaction to such a new experience really makes the whole thing gratifying. When the final touchdown has been scored, you know the river has won. The mighty rollicking rapids of the Matanuska are tackled, but never beaten and will continue to roll long after you've gone. When you get ready to portage out, it's one of the greatest feelings that I've ever had. It's just a great accomplishment that, you know, that I've, I've gone through the white water and uh, we're back home and I'm ready to do it again.